the production possibilities table. Typically, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see a table of possible production for different combinations. So in this economy, there's bikes and computers. You can make 14 bikes and zero computers, 12 bikes and two computers, and then nine bikes and four computers, and then five bikes and six computers, and then zero bikes and eight computers. This is typically a table that you'll see. Sometimes I'll have this like in the... Uh, problem set, I'll be giving you a table and then you have to draw it and this plot out the points. Other times I'll just tell you to draw the bikes and computers. It depends on what my purpose is. If my purpose is for you to explain each point, explain the trade-offs and scarcity and all of those, I'd like you to plot them out and have them so you can actually have numbers and have those to explain what my opportunity cost is, what I gave up. If I'm just looking to shifting, I will not ask you to do that. But please make sure you know how to graph it. And then to me, unless I put, I'll say, put bikes on the y-axis and computers on the x-axis, access most of the time it's your call it doesn't matter which one they're on because the numbers are the same and the graph will look roughly the same but you know i'll tell you where which axis i want if i want you to do that thank you so much